guys welcome back to my channel today's video is part of the craft your stash challenge hosted by Antoinette from simple yet chic and the theme this month is summer so I'm going to do something that I think uh, can be identified as a summer piece of decor I have this piece of wood that my daughter gave me a long time ago and this was the original color I hope you notice the difference this is darker I wanted a darker color and the sides were not uh, stained so I only had my favorite stain which is the liquid shoe polish so if I'm going to paint the sides with this color I needed the rest of the wood to be in that color but anyway I wanted a darker tone so I started uh, painting this for you to see staining this for you to see how it looks I, but I'm going to use the other side as the front but I wanted you to see how easy it is to use this as a stain it's amazing I love it <laughs> okay this is a side I'm going to use I love the rusticity of this I love this part that looks like burnt so I, I, I love this, this piece of wood. I'm going to use it this way, I think. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to attach this uh, piece of ribbon on top, on the top border. This is a little big, large, long. <laughs> Let me look for my scissors. Here they are. So. I'm going to cut it. I think here is okay. This is enough, yes. Let me cover this bottle. Otherwise it's going to dry. Okay, let me put some hot glue here. And I'm going to pull this other side, this extreme, so it's dense on the front and more hot glue. And now let's glue this other tip of the ribbon okay next step I'm going to use it uh, to hang some pages of a notepad this is this was the original it was from Dollar Tree I have had it for I don't know 10 years or so and um, I think that I will use it more often if I have it at, have it at hand in my kitchen so I remove, as you can see, the, the pages, the paper. So I'm going to add this clip. I bought a lot of them on Amazon. I couldn't find a, a less, um, a fewer, or, or, or back with less uh, amount, smaller amount. That's what I wanted to say. Sorry. So I bought them, and I'm using it. I then I thought, oh, I will never use such a large amount. No, I'm using them more often than I thought. So I'm going the clip on top and in the center of the ribbon and then I can add my notepad. This is really really quick except for the part when we are going to decorate what is going to come here. What am I going to add here? Well, I have this kind of pots that are those temporary pots where you put the plant before uh, placing it in his forever home. <laughs> so I, they come in this color 
um, this is not the one I'm going to use. It's one that I'm going to use to show you how I uh, painted it and distressed it. I gave it a, a coat of gray acrylic paint. I mixed black and white till I got the, the shade of gray that I wanted. And I'm going to finish this. I'm going to show you how I did this uh, kind of galvanized and rusted uh, finish. I use this white acrylic paint. I found this with my daughter in the dumpster at Michael's. My daughter and I are dumpster divers. Our channel is Amster Chicks. It's going to be linked in the description box. You will also find in the description box the link to Antoinette's channel and to the playlist with all the videos that are going to participate in this challenge. So please pay a visit to the channels and watch the videos. Thank you in advance. Well, I also use this black apple barrel uh, matte acrylic. So, oh, I can't open it. Ah, here we go. This is a matter of playing with the colors. You add a little bit of one of them and a little bit of the other then, then you kind of mix them and when you are satisfied, you can stop. So, let's start with the black one. My fingers are going to end up being painted. And then, I'm going to go over this with the white one. like so. I bought these sponge brushes on internet from China also like two or three years ago and they are amazing for this kind of stuff. Let me eliminate a little bit. I'm dabbing here to eliminate a little bit of the white because we don't need, we can always add more. It's better to start with smaller amounts. As you can see, I'm turning this in different shades of gray, mixing both colors, and going in circles with the same brush. I think I need to add a little bit of of black and then you play with the colors till you are satisfied with the result and we are trying to mimic galvanized metal It's really easy, it requires patience and time <laughs> and then you are getting the result you like. I still can do more of these circular movements but I want you to see again. Oh, I realize I didn't finish the, the bottom of the planter or pot. So I'm going to do this right now. It's not going to be seen much because this is going to be hanging but really low because I need to have access to the papers in the notepad. But I think you need more white here. Yeah. Okay. And then 
I use again the liquid shoe polish to give it a rusted look. This requires drying and maybe a little bit more of white color, but I just want you to see how you just press a little bit and you get the rusted look. You see it? Okay, I thought it was a uh, frame. So, cutting the pots is really easy. You don't need any special tool, nothing like that. You see? It's like cutting a thick paper. So I cut both of them. Well, I cut one of them, I got two parts. And then I went uh, over the border with a Sharpie, black Sharpie, to give the border a black color that I think looks much better. To adhere it to the piece of wood. I didn't want the glue to show uh, outside the borders of the oh my god I painted the the, uh, the pot of the planter so I used these two pieces of tumble, tumbling tower game from Dollar Tree that we also found in the dumpster <laughs> so I glue one on each side as you can see here that will make me will make easier for me to adhere I'm going to cut this this pot or half pot to the piece of wood so let's add hot glue I'm using hot glue because it, this really doesn't need to be idea extremely or, or, or too hard because um, it's, it's not heavy so it's going to to work oh I forgot something okay I have to remove this I want to decorate the, the pot with this um, buffalo check ribbon let me see here yeah Yes, I like that. So, oh, thankfully I remembered it in time. So let me place this extreme on this side. It's too long. Okay. I'm going to put a drop of hot glue here in the center and then go around and again this is too long so I'm going to cut it and glue it inside of a pot like this and I also have a little cute bow to place in the center like so and now yes I can <laughs> glue the half pot to the piece of wood I hope it's not going to be too bulky now with two coats of two layers of hot glue, but I think it's going to work. Mm -hmm. If I turn this around, I will be able to press the Jenga pieces. place them and keep them there okay I 
think it needs more hot glue here. It was a mistake not uh, not realizing earlier that I haven't added the, the ribbon, but well, everything has a solution. Anyway, later I'll, I'm going to uh, perfect this. <laughs> I don't want to make you lose your time because I don't want to make this video really long. Okay, and what I'm going to do, the last detail, how I'm going to decorate this. Well, I bought a lot of very cute and tiny lemons on Amazon. This was not in my stash. <laughs> and I'm going to place them, place them inside the pot. I have some greenery here that I want to add. So let's see. I think I have to, maybe I will have to cut them. No, it, they, this, they're staying in place. So I'm going to glue them, the ones in the back, so they don't come loose. And uh, they are so cute. I love them. I really love them. And I paid like they are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty-seven. Three groups of nine um, on Amazon, free shipping. Uh, it, uh, for me, it's uh, like very, very inexpensive because. I paid like ten dollars or something like that for the twenty seven. So I think it's a very good deal. Let me see, I'm going to place the leaves. Yeah. I'm going to glue them without the stem. So I can position them where I want them to be. And we are almost done. So for me, lemons scream summer. <laughs> That's why I chose them for this DIY. If I want something else, something different for another season, I have more of these pieces of wood so I can make another one. I usually don't glue things because I reuse and change the decoration when it comes uh, fall, when it comes uh, Christmas, but in this case I love this as it is and I'm going to keep it for every summer. Even in spring, spring summer you can use them. Uh, I want this a little bit more under the lemon, but well, it's okay. And then the last one is going to be here, yes. So it's kind of symmetric. I'm very symmetric, honestly. I know that it's not good, but sometimes you have to, to be a little bit asymmetric. I don't know if the right pronunciation, but I like symmetric things, so that's me. <laughs> and I'm turning 70, I'm not going to change now, change now, <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so this is uh, the DIY I have for you today. If you like this creation, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not a subscriber already and ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Please visit the hostess channel and watch the videos in the playlist. Thank you so much as usual for watching my videos. Hope to see you in my next one and have a wonderful, wonderful day.